Okay, everyone, welcome back to the Retro React of Mario and Sonic at the 2012 Olympics. Last part, we did a co-op team in football. We won. So now I believe this next match is technically the finals. Metal Sonic versus Team Bowser for the finals. Let's see if we can take home the gold. All right, Metal Sonic against Bowser. This is kind of a Bowser team. I don't know if it's all silver, but there it is. Yeah. I can see that team up there. Thank you. Woo! Thank you for sending best wishes. Uh, you know, it's it's a stupid cold. It's not a huge deal, but it sucks that I'm puffing through it here to stream for you guys today. It is what it is. Oh, man. Almost had a go right off the get-go. <clears throat> not even the first 10 seconds. Thanks, asshole. Oh, what happened? You fucking me. No. I don't need any, any hot lemon tea. My throat is fine. The problem is now... My oh, running nose, my congestion, and the constant yes. pouring into my throat yeah. making me cough. What the fuck? My throat what itself is not sore, so the tea would not help. Oh my god. Bowser got rocked. Nice. Nice. Oh! Yeah. Beautiful shot. Top yeah. corner. Oh, yes. <laughs> These are track pants. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Immediate power. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like your bones breaking. <laughs> no. Whoa. Look at this. Wow. Watch the replay. Uh, <laughs> I want to see it. Are they going to show it? Yeah, let's show it. Wow. Here we go. It bounces off the goalie. Uh, I couldn't see it. It's such a shitty oh, replay. Shit, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, no. Uh, I'm going to get rid of bitch. Oh. Yeah. Back, back. Yeah. Ooh. Nice S and M collars, man. It's true, nice wear collar. Kick off. You got on a hot topic. Ah! Shoot oh, that oh, shit. Oh. Look at this. Oh, Look at this. Metal oh. Sonic. Oh. oh. It looks oh. sick, though. Look it looks so ball. sick. Oh, oh your ass. Don't miss a warrior like that. Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh, shoot. Oh. Oh. Man. Oh. Fuck you. Pass it back, pass it back. There's some. Ouch. Oh, music kicked them. Oh, so, hold on. Maseo said, it's funny how some characters have full clothing and others just bare it all. Well, I think it's it's dependent on the age of the game and if they're an animal or not. Like, the animals usually don't have clothes on, right? Like, Sonic, he just has shoes but no pants. <laughs> but Mario, I'm pretty sure we want Mario to be wearing clothes. You don't want to see his flopping Italian sausage and two meatballs in the breeze, right? Exactly. That'd be a little offensive. Um, <clears throat> But the animals, it makes sense. And I think they see it more as the like animals are more like cartoon characters as opposed to, you know, the more humanoid characters are seen as humans in like a fantasy world, right? Uh, now, someone named Sentries is asking about John Rambo saying, do I miss him? Um, you know, was it better having someone to bounce stuff off of, etc. Uh, when you when you did commentary? Of course, like you'll see in the many retro reacts that we're going to do. You know, we just did Rise of Nightmares, correct? That one, again, that's one. If I played Rise of Nightmares, this really crappy horror uh, Microsoft Connect co-op game, if I, or not co-op, but Microsoft Connect motion game. If I played that solo, I wouldn't have enjoyed a single moment of it. The game's awful. But playing it with someone, tagging in and out, going through that awful experience together <clears throat> makes it much better. Playing certain games and having that co-op commentary, right, to be able to interject and play off of each other's energy. That's something really unique and awesome. And I hate to say it, John and I were doing this in 2010 
And many, many YouTubers saw us and copied us. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say it. I think it's apparent if you watch other groups that came after us that they had seen us and were inspired by us to try to do something similar. A lot of them came in with better production values and the like. But man, a lot of them bit right off of us. Some of the things they said are very similar to what we would say and do. Uh, I've seen it in many different pieces of content, okay? But <clears throat> we were kind of like the innovators at the time of doing that kind of live improv commentary stuff, right? Two friends actually bouncing off each other. Now, is it a shame that I don't do it anymore? Well, yes and no. I moved on with my life. I moved across the country. I, I started becoming a different kind of person and a different kind of creator. I wasn't going to be doing this kind of content forever regardless. You know, I had intention to, to stay friends with him and keep doing content, but we knew it wasn't going to be able to be this kind of content because we're not there together anymore, right? So things were bound to change. There's not, not much you can do unless you're just going to planning on, we're just going to stay where we live, the same exact living arrangements, the same exact work arrangements, never change. You know, you can't have it forever, right? So we really, I feel like we made the best of it during the time that we had. And the awesome part is that we documented it all, right? We documented it all. And so here it is as epic history. It's on the internet. You can watch it whenever you want. The channel's not going anywhere. And, uh, you know, you can come back and watch it whenever you want. We can do retro react events to it. It's awesome to know that this, this cool gameplay and commentary existed and, uh, and inspired a lot of people, right? <clears throat> At the Gamer says, you did it, then Smosh Games did it. Multiple people saw Smosh Games and copied them. You might be right. I don't know the exact order. I just know if you go back in history... Very few people were doing this kind of co-op stuff. And we started going to conventions and appearing. And then all of a sudden, it explodes on YouTube. There's all these co-op guys. There's all this. And now they're going to conventions and taking up the spots we used to have at conventions. Like, wait a minute. We were there first. We were the innovators. Why the hell does everyone else come out and copy us, but somehow they pass us? It's like, cause why? Because they came in with production value and budget, editing, scripted skits and shit, which we never did. Not once did we ever do a scripted skit. Everything we did was on the fly, but YouTube was going a different way. Everything on YouTube had to have production value so it looked like a TV show, had to have scripted jokes and things, had to appeal to kids, which our content very much did not appeal to kids at all, right? So YouTube went a different way, <clears throat> but I'm happy that we have these memories and this archive that we can go back and watch. You know what I mean? <clears throat> okay, cool. Jesus. Step on his face. Oh, I shouldn't get it yet. Shoot it. Oh. Oh. Yes. Woo. We're yeah, dominating, huh? Best Two one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That is the best post. Fucking asshole. Christ. You got that super shot. Give me that ball. Ah. <laughs> oh, here it comes. Right off of space. Oh, fuck. What happened? I fouled him. You got fouled. Yes. Oh, my God. Come on. Come on. Bullshit additional time. Yeah, you do it. You're doing yeah. frequently. He's kicking him in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> All these guys are kind of uh, special. Yeah, they all have it. Look, the whole team. All of them. Oh. I'm trying to pass you. Ah. All right. Oh. At least time's over, right? Sick of the sad. Yeah. Woo! No cleaning them out three oh. one. Yeah. That's how we roll. Kick off. <laughs> 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 oh, Sonic character. There's no red cards at the Olympics. <laughs> oh yeah, Cat is feeling way better than me. Cat went back to work today. She came home. She seems fine. She's recovered fully. I'm the one who's now got about a week to go through this. <laughs> Wow, point blank. That was great. That was great. 
point blank. He's taking all the gold. Oh, 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 oh. He kicks wow. him down, kicks right over his head. Power show the white <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. It's on your ass. It's on your ass. Yeah, yeah. What? what the fuck? He's himself. Oh, man. Again, yeah, wow, we're just dominating oh, now. You might as well just end the game, right? Nice end the goddamn perfect game. Oh, freak them off. Wow, jeez. Yeah, you can shoot from out there. What the hell? <laughs> what happened there? That was weird. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, just people up. Little shit. Break it. Oh shit, we gotta block. No! Yes! Oh, yeah. Shit! Oh, fucker. Your power tackle! Oh. Damn! Yeah. Wow. Power tackle. Yeah. Oh god, I ran out. I ran out of bounds. <laughs> That's myself ran out of bounds. <laughs> How'd that happen? Whoa! Whoa! Get up, super. Oh. <laughs> Bad pass. Oh, Flip it all over. Bad pass for his boys. It's a kicking, a thorough kicking. Ugh. Holy shit, shoot! Yeah! That was easy. What a Distracted. Give <laughs> tail scores. Give tail scores. Oh. Give me tail scores. Oh. Whoa! This, uh, dude, there's 22 oh, yeah. seconds left. They have to score five, score five goals. Oh, Just call the game. Oh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this actually happened at the Olympics. People had like orgies in the fucking stands and shit. Yeah, fucking here. seven to one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> so, uh, Connor, Connor, Jason says, "Funny how Sega allowed this after being ruined by Nintendo in the console industry." Yeah, but they had nothing else to do. <clears throat> right? They had nothing else to do. They're not making consoles anymore. All they're doing is making games and porting them out. So, of course, they're going to allow this. This is their only business model now. Why wouldn't they? Right? They're not going to be salty. They know that this is their core audience. People on, we are going to play a game like this. So, why not? Why not make the money? should have played baseball. Ugh. Where am I? Yeah. There's no. Uh, Derek says they did not make a Paris. 2024 Olympics games. Rumor is that the series is done. They're probably not going to make it anymore. Wow. I wonder what happened. I wonder if the last one sold poorly. You know, last one I played was the 2014. What was that? What was 2014? Sochi or whatever? Southern China, like, Winter Olympics or whatever? Yeah, that's the last one I played 10 years ago. Caught it. Yes. Go, go, go. Oh, Big lofty, uh, lofty kick. Well, ten goals. Yeah. Oh. Get it, get another one. Ah, oh, it would be great to get ten goals. Why is there additional time? What's the point? What's the point of the additional time here? <laughs> yeah, but Connor, again, Connor says, I feel like there would be go, go, go. some shame crawling to your competitors, but they're not competitors anymore. They gave up on consoles with a Dreamcast. That was like a decade before this. You know what I mean? I can see what you're saying. If this if this game came out in like 2002, right after the failure of the Dreamcast, this game came out in 2011, 2012. You know, this is 10 years later. By now, Sega is only making part uh, games for other people's consoles, so they're very used to it at this point, right? <clears throat> oh. Was there extra time? We're losing nine to one. Nine to one. Let's drag this out longer. We win the gold. That's right. The gold. Well, yeah, nine to one. I think we won the gold. Huh? Additional time compensates for the lost time with fouls. Oh. Of course. 
Uh -huh. Shower me with kisses. <laughs> Send me robo hookers. <laughs> Hold on my robo hookers. We're doing dream long jump. This is the dream long jump. I think we're gonna start doing the the very weird dream events now that are like super fantasy versions of the real events, and they're all like weird mini games and stuff. I received a five dollar tip <clears throat> from Okie Dokie. I hope you feel better, player. Well, thank you, Okie Dokie. I appreciate that. Me too. I think out of everyone here, I'm the one hoping that I feel better the most and the soonest. Right. <laughs> Now, I feel like crap tonight. I don't feel as bad as I did during the marathon on Saturday. I felt really bad and couldn't even keep going. Here I can at least tough through, but <clears throat> yeah, I really do wish I felt better. Ugh. Thank you, Okie Dokie. Now we're 20 bucks away from the goal for the night. Thank you, guys. Remember, if we haven't luck out and hit the full $100 tips goal tonight, I'll put on the Sonic hat, but we're almost out of time. We only have just a little over an hour left. The fun ones. This is one with the clouds, remember? Yeah. Well, now I actually know how to do it. Yeah. No, this was all together. Again. Double M, this is all done in one day. So it's like 40-something parts. Each part's 10 minutes. So you divide by 60 or divide by 6, right? And it's like uh, like 6 hours. Seven hours, six to seven hours of gameplay. We beat, we did the whole thing in one day. We never played it again after this. We just played it the one day. <clears throat> Darth Gallbox says, I read due to economic reasons, Nintendo just didn't want to pay for the Olympic license this year. Really? Economic reasons. That's interesting. Huh. Here we are. Let's see. I wonder if we'd be good at jumping. Let's try... Quickly, will be a fourth console competitor. No, because I think what's going to happen is I think what's going to happen is what's happening right now with the industry. Things are going to go cloud streaming. You're not even going to need a console anymore. The thing is, we need to get internet up to the point where it can support that. And I think we're getting there. Like some places probably can do full cloud streaming right now of any game, but not everyone. <clears throat> not everyone has good enough internet. Once internet is to that point, I don't think we will need consoles anymore. All games will just be live streamed over the internet and you will need a subscription base to do it there will no longer be buying games it'll just be you pay for the subscription and you get certain games i almost guarantee that's what's going to happen just like what happened with tv do we decide what the next throwback is after this ends well this is going to be at least this week and next week and then we'll see if we want to keep going because i think the olympics will be over then and i don't think this is going to end by then we'll see but we had talked about playstation home right going back to my original playstation home walkthroughs and exploring those and see what those were like because those are a bygone era of like 2008 to like 2015 and i did it pretty, pretty much like once a year or once every two years i would go back and explore it i think that would be neat for a while and then after that we got to see what kind of stuff is timely like as we're starting to head into the fall start thinking about halloween maybe start doing some horror playthroughs and stuff i think that would be neat silver, silver has like some of the best rankings look at that He's got really high skill. Oh, he is. High stamina. He's from uh, the fucking 2006 Sonic he was in. Oh, really? Yeah. Ha <laughs> Sonic Heroes? No, I never yeah. heard of Grimbley until you just mentioned it, Legendary V Kicker. I don't even know what it is. It's just bouncing on clouds. Yeah. Flutter jumps. Swing we remote up and down. Oh, Crowd gosh. Bounce. It's like, um, this from Mario Brothers. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what it's like. We had done this once during okay. the London party, I think. The dream of March. Yeah, this is weird. Yoshi's picture book. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Yoshi's story. Waluigi! Silver! Victor! I don't know what happened here. Lightning cloud, what happens oh, to touch it? Whoa, shoots lightning bolts. He's so got to keep bouncing. Oh, you can jump off the shy guy. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh no. The cloud's split in two. Oh, oh, cheap, cheap. Giant monster. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> the balloon, the sabotage balloon. So once Bullshit. once you're eliminated, you can then try to eliminate the other players from getting further by putting out your sabotage balloon. That's what we did. We hit him there. <laughs> yeah, I never heard of Gwimbly, this video game. No. I've already... You guys, I swear, people just always say the same shit. Like someone in chat's like, why don't you reach out to John Rambo? It's never too late. It's this simple. John Rambo cut off the relationship with me. I was the one who was still trying to contact him, and he started ghosting me and ignoring me. John Rambo was the one who decided in 2015 to put out a negative video about me. Basically bad talking me, saying a whole bunch of stuff I never knew about that he apparently didn't like about our relationship, right? Um, and John Rambo is not the public figure. I am. I have so many ways that I can be contacted. There's an email address. There's a Twitter address. You can come to my videos. You can come to my streams, right? You can reach me if you need to. Anyone can. I have a million ways to be publicly contacted. John Rambo has none. John Rambo actually actively disappeared from the internet. He made his podcast for a few more years, and then he just stopped making it, and no one knows anything about where he is or how he's doing because he vanished. He literally decided to delete himself from the internet, probably to stop getting bothered by people who are getting up in his business, right? And that's his right to do that, by the way. There's absolutely <clears throat> no reason he doesn't, he couldn't do that. But if anyone is going to to reach out, it's going to be him. I don't have a way to contact him. I don't, you know what I mean? I'm the public figure. I always was, and I'm not the one who shut down the relationship to begin with. So when people say stuff like that to me, I'm like, I guess it's easier for you to say it to me because I'm still the guy you can talk to. But understand, I was not the guy who, who stopped to begin with. Nor do I have any way to talk about this guy or talk to this guy. You know what I mean? Um, it's also a situation where it's been so long. Dude, 2015 was the last time that I talked to John Rambo. 2015. So actually, in reality, it's actually 2014. But 2015 was the last time that he even said a word like about me anywhere. Right? It's been nine years. In nine years, we're worlds apart, man. You know, I'm sure he probably has a family. He's probably happy not having the online association. And by the way, I can approve that without going too much into detail. I have talked to people over the years who have confirmed. Yeah, one of the major reasons that John didn't want to be my friend anymore was because of the insane amount of harassment and trolling that happened on the internet. That during these time periods, when we were doing good. Everything was good. But all of a sudden, when Project 7 started, they all just started harassing everyone. Me, him, everyone. There were actual trolls orchestrating things between us to try to get us at each other's throats because they were scumbags. And he just didn't want to be involved in that. He's like, you know, Phil, this is his livelihood. This is his job. This is what he does online. He has to keep doing it. I don't. I don't need the drama. I have enough stuff going on in real life. I don't need it. You know, he never really made any money doing any videos on YouTube except for what he did for me and I paid him for. He wasn't monetizing his podcast. For him, it was just a hobby. So why put up with all the drama? Right? Why put up with all of that? I completely agree with that. I wish he had gone about it in a different way. If he had contacted me and said, listen, here's the reason. And, you know, I would have been understanding and like, okay, we'll shut it down. We will literally never talk about doing work together ever again. We'll just be friends. But he didn't want to do that. Instead, he chose to, to handle it the way he did. And that's his prerogative. You know, it, it was very negative towards me and it did hurt me. But everyone handles things differently. Right? I certainly would have handled it differently if it was me choosing to end the relationship. But that's me. I'm not him he's not me you know but that's that like there's really nothing left to be said at all we're we've nine years removed it's not going to be <clears throat> some magic reconciling even if we were to speak what would we even speak about right like <laughs> there's really nothing there you know what i'm saying <clears throat> okay <laughs> cloud split when i jumped on i didn't know it was gonna split like that redo that shit <laughs> run that shit back <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Run, back. run it back. <laughs> what oh. the hell? I don't want to see this. Wait, see <laughs> I'm that. salty. I don't want to see this. Bullshit. I'm salty as hell. It's simple. Shove your gold medal up your ass. <laughs> oh. What are we Huh? Look, you hover when you, oh, you hover a little bit. 
Quack. A balloon, look. Oh, man. Storm cloud sucked me in, man. I died again. Wow, I suck. Well, now it's John's time to survive because he went out first last time. Oh, if you try to kill him. <laughs> Fuck, I missed again. Look at fucking Waluigi. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, wow. That was close. <laughs> Look out, cheap cheap. Oh, the balloon! Oh, he survived! Oh, shit! Is it red? No! What the fuck? Balloons, there's balloons everywhere. Holy now he's gonna have a new record. Holy crap, man. This is a hell of a long jump. Screwed up. He totally screwed up. I don't know. Keep dying by accident. It's nonsense. All right. All right. All right. Well, time to keep going, but let's split the part again, and I'll be back with more. Thanks for watching, everybody.